guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use CapCut. Specifically, CapCut keyframes. Um, okay, so, and um, this is specifically the PC version. I am not using the mobile version because the mobile version sucks ass. Um, let's just put the dust animation in here. Let's just put the dust animation right there. And now let's do a little thing. Now, you see the you see this add keyframe? This here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put another keyframe right there and then move it wherever you see fit. Let's put it, let's say it'll go over here. And now let's play. It went over there because I added a keyframe. Keyframes are basically like telling the sprite where you want it to go. Example. Example. You want it to be right here at the beginning. At the beginning. Add a keyframe. If you want to go from beginning to like somewhere along the animation, you have to put a keyframe at the very beginning frame of the of the GIF or image. It's not optional. I mean, you can, but like you could do it right here. But it'll just but it'll just do this. Yeah, so you don't want that. Okay, now let's play. Now, do you want it to move back to its original place after it's already done that? Well, you can. usually do about five to ten frames afterwards and then add another keyframe because the animation becomes quicker then yeah if you want it to do that you can make it do that this was my short guide to cap cut if you need any more put one in the comments Ask what you need help with, and I'll help you. Bye, guys.